Welcome back to Griddle Cook, eating more for another great episode here. This time we're doing chili dogs. So we're gonna prepare our own chili sauce for it, uh, cook up the dogs, and then uh, get them topped up and give them a try. So definitely super excited, I love chili dogs. Uh, I got a, a special bread here that I've been wanting to get and try, so I'm even more excited for the bread than anything. So give us a second, uh, we'll be back. Here we go, we are back. Let's check out what we're working with. So obviously we got our hot dogs here. Got our ground beef. Got about a pound and a half. It's got some regular table mustard right there. You can see it. We got some Worcestershire sauce. Tomato paste. About three tablespoons of, uh, I put in my food processor, minced up uh, onion. And in here we got uh, sugar, cumin, chili powder, and celery seed. Uh, the recipe I use, it's the A&W uh, copycat recipe. So uh, the only difference I do is I uh, use fresh onion instead of this uh, dried onion. We can do it either way, I made it that way, it's good too. So, uh, and then also, uh, last but least, these brioche hot dog buns. And these are like the, the New England style rolls they got the I got the pack so hard to see but anyways you can butter toast them on the outside put your dog in there so that is what I'm really excited about so let's get over to the stove and get this chili sauce going all right we're over at the stove here so let's get it going on first thing we're gonna do we're gonna get this uh, a pot going if I crank it on high for now let's grab the ground beef slap our ground beef in there all right, we're gonna add a little bit of water to my ground beef mixture here. I like to get it uh, super broke up and real super fine, so. That's how I like to do it. Then you can just strain it off, but it helps break it down real good, so. That's what we want. All right, we're gonna get this ground beef cooked up. Uh, I'll meet you back once I get the ground beef uh, all broken up, drained off, and. All right, we're back. Got the ground beef drained off, got it broke up pretty good. Just gonna go through it one last time here. So now we're gonna start adding greens. So first thing I'm gonna do is add my, get my onion in there. Also we're gonna do, grab some pepper here. Do a little uh, ground uh, sea salt and pepper. Kind of, you know, just do this to taste. So let's start off with. Let's start off a little bit now. We'll add if we need to. All right, beautiful. Get that all mixed up. All right, start adding our goods. Uh, first off, we're gonna do a cup and a half of water. Now the recipe online it's for uh, uh, using one pound of ground beef, so I got I had an extra or partial thing, so I'm just kind of doing the recipe for uh, one and a half. So, so a single recipe would use six ounces of uh, tomato paste. I got a 12 ounce can here, so use about three fourths of it. It's good right now. Get that all mixed in. All right, we're getting that mixed in. We're gonna go ahead and add our rest of our dry seasonings. Get that mixed in real nice. Go ahead and turn this down. And then uh, last uh, but least, we're gonna do some uh, Worcestershire sauce and some mustard. Recipe calls for a tablespoon of mustard. We're just gonna eye that up here. So we need a little more, so that looks good to me. And then it calls for a teaspoon of Worcestershire, so a little more. Nothing wrong with Worcestershire, a little extra ain't gonna hurt. So this is it. We're gonna get this stirred up. 
let it simmer a little bit. We'll be good to go. I am going to give it a quick taste here, just see if I need to add more salt and pepper to it. So, grab a spoon. Pretty good, but definitely use a little more salt, so. The more pepper ain't gonna hurt it. All right, scoop. Another quick taste here. It's good stuff right there. We're gonna let this cook down a little bit and we'll be done. So next up, meet you at the grill. We'll get them hot dogs cooking. Those uh, nice brioche uh, New England style rolls cut up. And, or actually they're cut up, but get them buttered up, get them grilled, and we're gonna be good. All right, we are ready to cook a hot dog. So we're gonna, we're gonna use the old Blackstone E-Series griddle. I got it set to 375, so let's get a hot dog on. We're gonna get that going first. So we're gonna get that cooked up nice and brown. And then from there, we're gonna griddle up our uh, beautiful little uh, split top New England style lobster roll bun here. So, beautiful thing. I can't wait. So this is the highlight of this meal right here, boys. That bread right there. So, let me get this hot dog all grilled up here, browned up real nice. And then uh, we'll be back to put it together and check out this deliciousness. All right, we're back. Hot dog's uh, looking good there, getting a little char on it. So now it's time to get our bun down. So we're gonna butter this up. And I know a lot of people have talked about this before. Uh oh. Looks like the producer's a little, a little pissed off right now. Here I'm in the background. So anyways, a lot of people like to use uh, mayonnaise, but I'm a butter guy. Let me know in the comments what you like, mayonnaise or putting butter, butter toasted buns and what have you. So I'm all the way at butter, butter I think this tastes better, but mayonnaise does do a great job uh, browning stuff up. So but anyways, we're gonna get this, uh, this uh, nice little roll here toasted up. And then uh, once we get that done, it'll be time to build. Right there is what I'm talking about, right there. You can see in that camera, let's make sure we can see it. Actually, that nice golden brown on the outside, just, just that adds that extra, extra level of tastiness to that bun. So, oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be so good. So good. Love butter toasted bread, I love brioche bread. Gosh, oh man, I can't wait. This hot dog smells amazingly good too. Grilling right up here on the old uh, Blackstone. So we're gonna be ready to go here in just a second. Oh, look at that, look at that. All right, just about there. All right, I'm gonna meet you over at the plate here while we get this sucker built up. So just give me a second. All right, time to get her built. First off, grab a nice buttery toasted, beautiful roll here. Oh man, let's get that sucker split. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Grab a nice little charred dog right there. Beautiful. Grab my chili sauce here. Beautiful. Now we're gonna hit up, which I didn't mention before, got some nice uh, shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar. Uh, bought the blocks, shredded up. So definitely, if you got time, get the blocks and shredded up. It's so much better than the bag cheese, so. All right, got that. 
And then some nice white diced onions here on top. All right, there we go. All right, give me a second. I want to take some pictures of this beautiful thing and then uh, we're gonna give it a try. So we'll be back. All right, we got this little masterpiece right here. Sliding around, beautiful thing. Now it's time to give it a try. It's kind of cool about this split top bun or just this bun in general. You toast it up, it's a whole lot firmer than your, your standard hot dog bun. So, I mean, really, I can I can almost just eat this instead of, I mean, typically, just using regular hot dog buns, I gotta get a fork and knife out and do it. But, uh, man, that's holding that thing together like freaking piece of artwork. <laughs> so let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. That bread just takes it to, a whole, to another level. I mean, you get your hot dog buns, great, you steam them. That's a normally what I do. Yeah, smaller stuff down, so it's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. nothing wrong with them, but holy cow. Oh, let's get another bite of this sucker. Man, you bite into this, you get that, that buttery, goodness, toasty crunch. Oh. You can probably hear it. Hmm. <laughs> And you got your nice cheese and onions. Saw my onions fell off. Get some of them in there. Mmm. Living in St. Louis, Missouri, I've been looking for these these lobster, these lobster roll style, the New England style rolls forever, forever. And then one day I'm at Trader Joe's and then I just happened to see them there. I'm like, holy crap. So I had to get them. So first time, first time getting them and then uh, trying them and making anything with them, but holy moly, man, this is so good. So anyways, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, comment for me, and we'll talk to you the next time. I'm going to finish this thing up.